This message today from me as Prime Minister is a signal that from now, this government will make the 1st of August a major event in our national calendar. Our self-esteem, our dignity, our respect for the lives and struggles of our forefathers demand this of us. And I can say to you now that as of today, we have kept our promise. Prime Minister, Honorable Philip J. Pierre has not only allocated government resources, his vision for Emancipation Day activities has renewed public interest and also broadened and diversified stakeholder participation. Minister for Culture, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire, was tasked with materializing the Prime Minister's vision. During the campaign, in preparing our manifesto, the Prime Minister said, we must never ever continue to celebrate Emancipation Day the way we have done it in St. Lucia. And when he became Prime Minister, and he appointed me as Minister, he said one of the first things he wanted done was for me to get Emancipation Day celebrations right. I listened to him, I believed him, but he also delivered. When we started to prepare the budget, he made sure there were monies in the allocations for us to be able to celebrate today. That was his commitment to making today a different day in our history. And I said to him, Prime Minister, we will get it done. Under the direction of Honorable Pierre, St. Lucia's observance of Emancipation Day in the last 12 months has evolved from what used to be an unremarkable holiday to more than a month of celebrations that features national events and activities to commemorate the historical occasion and raise the national consciousness and promote greater awareness of St. Lucia's ancestral past. The Prime Minister delivered his second Emancipation Address during the inaugural Dance and Drum Juve spectacle which took place on the Castries waterfront on August 1st. We must not be ashamed because their continued resistance to and rebellion against slavery contributed greatly to their formal freedom on 1st August 1848. Our forefathers were not merely passive recipients of emancipation. The story of their struggle must be told. Celebrating Emancipation Day, therefore, is to celebrate the victory of our ancestors over the system that enslaved them. Celebrating em Emancipation Day is to say that we are strong enough to overcome the slavery of our times, poverty, high unemployment, violent crime, and underemployment. Celebrating Emancipation Day is to say that we as a people are determined to become a prosperous nation, conscious of our strengths and abilities, inherited from our slave foreparents, proud of whom we are and from whence we come. The program of activities that has been organized this year is just the beginning. These celebrations will grow and become grander with time. In fact, the planning committee has mapped out an action program for the next three years. As of this year, Emancipation Day will no longer be just another holiday. A national freedom concert held at Old Trafford in Soufre followed the dance and drum Juve spectacle. This year's reimagined Emancipation Day activities officially commenced in June under the theme Enkindling Our Consciousness. The official calendar of events includes numerous activities for all ages, such as lectures, recitals, and visual art displays. On July 31st, Honorable Pierre joined a government delegation that included the culture and health ministers, along with the members of parliament for Denry North and Denry South for the official unveiling of the emancipation hero, Petronil Dwini. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.